If you don't use throwables in Apex Legends, then you need to start. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how important throwables are in Apex Legends. Let's do it. Welcome back to my channel, Warriors, and today I'm gonna teach you how important throwables are in Apex Legends Season 5. As a quick reminder, if you have any questions about today's video, I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Twitch. The link will be down in the description below. Now here we are in the firing range, and there are only three different kinds of throwables in Apex Legends. That's the Arc Star, the Frag Grenade, and the Thermite. And today we're gonna to break down each one, how much damage they do, what kind of effects they have, and then as a bonus tip, guys, at the end, I'm gonna tell you how many you should carry in your inventory for Season 5. Starting off is with the Frag Grenade. The Frag Grenade is probably the least used or the least carried throwable out of the three. The fra Frag Grenade has ignition time of four seconds. Out. You can deal 10 damage to the target if you actually hit them which I didn't even know at the time. A lot of people don't know that, but if you hit your target with it, it can deal 10 damage. Frag out. Now the grenade, depending on how close you are, deals up to 100 damage. The farther you are away from the AOE effect, the little bit less damage that you take. But the frag grenade is one of the most powerful throwables in the game, okay guys? Now, on top of that, the throwable can also break down doors. It can destroy, you know, equipment like uh, Watson's fences or, you know, set off Caustic's traps, anything like that. Unfortunately, we don't destroy Pathfinder's zip line yet. I'm hoping maybe that that becomes an effect inside Apex Legends. Frag out. But the fact frag grenade is probably one of the most deadly grenades in the game because it just rolls off the edge and it can't be... You know, it's hard to avoid it. A lot of people do not see it coming. It deals so Frag much out. damage to people, but that's it. It has the longest detonation time at four seconds. It's a long time, which is enough time to, to get away if you notice that it's there at your feet. Otherwise, you're gonna take probably the most damage out of the three uh, throwables in the game. Now, to avoid this, you just want to be keeping an eye out for, you know, the grenade icon at the bottom of your screen. I know that's tough when you're in the middle of a, a heated fight, guys, and you, you know, you just don't pay attention. You know what's going on because it's, it's a real tough one to gauge, but the Frag grenades out. do so much Frag damage. Out. Now, my tip here is, is because all the grenades roll, as you see, I just overthrew him. The grenades roll. So the biggest tip I can give you guys is depending on if you're throwing it at a structure or towards somebody is to try to either bounce it or throw it a little bit short because Frag then out. it's gonna roll. See how far it rolls? Now, if I throw it here, right? It should roll and hit right next to him. Boom, right next to him. So that's my biggest tip for that one, guys. The frag grenade is probably, in my opinion, the, the least one I should say you carry out of all three. If it was my choice, I would always carry an Arc Star or a Thermite over the Frag Grenade. But depending on what's available in a bag or what's around, definitely carry one of these. Okay, guys, moving on to the Thermite. This may be the best grenade in the game or the best throwable in the game. The Arc Star, it, right now, in my opinion, is the best. But the Thermite, I think, does more versatility compared to the Arc Star. Okay, the Thermite is a fire ignition grenade when you throw it throw it grenade. burns a line it i want to say it's about like 10 or so feet it could be more in game feet but it burns okay and when you throw it it hits right out. where it's at it deals four damage stacking and it goes off right away so if you're in right in the line of sight of this thing it's going to stack four points of damage as you can continue to stay in the you know the fire firewall is what i like to call it but it can cause damage to doors, it can destroy doors. And the biggest thing here is that the thermites ignore knockdown shields. It just ignores knockdown shields. Now it will hit regular shields, as you guys saw. But if he had a knockdown shield, it's not gonna do any damage to this. Turn my grenade out. Okay, but it's gonna take down the shield and then it's gonna take down the HP the longer you stay in this. What's great about this one is, is it moves people out of position. Okay, um, you know, as opposed to the grenade, the thermites move people. It destroys stuff. You can create perimeters and barriers for people not to push through because that damage stacks. Even after, if you run through it, right, and I'm moving, it still hits me. I'm still on fire. I took half my damage and all I did was run into it once. Okay, so it still stacks. 
even after you get hit and you try to run away it's still going to deal a lot of damage to you okay that's what's so great about Throwing the thermite. thermite grenade look how wide that is that just sets up a full wall if i'm like oh crap thermite let me run see i took so much damage just from that and if you're trying to heal that makes healing very difficult to do guys very difficult to do we're just gonna top off here we're just gonna top off but the thermite is probably the most used one and out of out of all the three when it comes to like highly competitive games especially on the pro circuit a lot of pros use ther use thermites compared to uh frag grenades but i think they use them just as much as the arc star which is going to be the next one up on our list now talking about the arc star the best throwable in the game hands down still is okay the arc star is a ninja throwing star it's so cool okay when you throw it it out. can deal 90 damage right off the bat just in sticking and then it does another 70 damage after that and it has an aoe effect as you guys saw hitting the additional targets around it okay so boom star. you can throw it it sticks it does 70 damage and damage around it the great thing about the arc star is that it does stick to your enemy so when you're throwing boom you hit somebody they're trying to run away boom it hits them okay it has a 2.8 second ignition time okay 2.8 seconds that is really fast so if you hit somebody with this and they're next to their teammates their teammates are gonna feel it guys and they're gonna feel that look at that 90 boom and it does 50 damage to the people it's next to that's so much damage look look 69 it does so much damage guys and then on top of that it has a stunning effect so it slows it slows everybody that's hit by it now when you're initially hit by the arc star you're not going to be slowed down you're going to be able to run you're going to be able to move but then as soon as it ignites you're you're stunned you're stunned and you're taking a lot of damage on top of that so when people use this item or this throwable it's to take somebody down it's so easy to like you could even hit somebody with the arc star like they get hit and then you just you just finish them right oh that guy's fully helped hit him with the arc star and out. then you can just oh crap just start shooting him gotta grab some more arc stars here that's what's so great about the arc star guys it Throwing you hit somebody star. and then you can just start shooting them and then finish them off you hit him a few more times and then you know they're going down okay it sticks to surfaces it explodes with arc damage this this can also destroy doors traps set caustic traps off all of the above the biggest negative right now guys with all the throwables as you guys can see in my inventory is they all take up one slot okay in the link above i have an inventory guide to show you on how to manage your inventory make sure to check that one out but in the end having these in your inventory is very important if you've ever been in a situation where you have a team pinned down or like i know he's right here behind this rock he i just don't have a shot on him he's one shot i can throw an arc star right i could i could throw a grenade right i could throw a thermite and just finish them off or make them move out of a you know a pinned area to where i can shoot them and finish them off grenades are so important and i know with season five the update gave us only one throwable per slot these used to stack two per slot so it makes managing your inventory a lot harder my biggest tip here and is like i said in my inventory guide guys make sure to check that out is carry at least two to three okay if you're on, if you're on your first bag right the very first bag you don't have a bag right you know you're just starting carry one all right as soon as you get the level one bag carry two right carry two you get the level two bag carry three if you can manage it and then four and higher you know carry three at the least if not four depending on your loadout but you want to carry at least three on the level three bags or four bags the level two bag carry two at least or three and then the level one bag to zero bag carry one these throwables will come in handy it's a great way to finish off players it's a great way to push a team you know throw an arc star throw a grenade throw a thermite break a door down deal damage charge in with your team and then you know get a team out of a a bunker or a building something that they're in these throwables will help you win more gunfights and win them more quickly okay 
That's what's so great about the throwables. They just take people Turn down, man. Out. They literally just Throwing burn people grenade. alive. You can Throwing heal so out. much damage. So much damage. Arcstar out. Arcstar to all out. these guys, right? Out. It does so much damage. You can just take people down. Look how hurt everybody is. Grenades, guys. Throwables. Arcstar's Thermites Frag Grenades. Use these in your everyday game. Start off by carrying one or two. Use them in highly effective situations. These throwables come in so clutch towards the end of games. So clutch. The zone is so small. You know, you can use these. What's another good reason about these two is like throwing a thermite on Wraith's portal when she uh, portals through. You throw a portal, they come through. They're immediately hit by it. It's so good. Same thing with the Arc Star. You can do the same thing. But use these guys. I advise carrying a few each game. Just get practice. Even if you want to use them, you know, early on in a fight, use them. Break a door down. Push a team. Do all that stuff. And I'm telling you, these grenades, these throwables in Apex Legends are game changers. The game did set them back. Respawn set them back by only letting us carry one per slot. But I think it makes the game a little bit more balanced. Throw my grenade out. Okay. Towards the end of the game, there were so many people that had stuff stacked that it made it a little unbalanced. But I can tell you guys that I think it's pretty balanced now. And I would definitely advise anybody and everybody, pros, noobs, anybody, use throwables. Don't be that those guys that, you know, don't have any and they just fill their, their inventory full of just attachments, guns, ammo, you know, healing, all this stuff, and, and not carry any throwables. You're going to be at such a disadvantage towards the end of the game. If I'm this person with this inventory and I'm not having any throwables to have a versatility experience when I'm fighting, like you have no versatility here. All you have is shooting somebody. So if they have some kind of cover or they have something to where you can't shoot them, you have no way to engage them, no way to hurt them, nothing. But throwables give you that versatility in a gunfight in the, towards the end of the game, the most important situations to win those battles, guys. So again, use throwables, use a few, have fun with them, deal some damage, make some crazy plays. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hoped that this video and this guide helped you out with throwables, helped you understand throwables a little bit better, and I hope that you use them in your everyday gameplay, and I hope it boosts your skill level in this game. I hope it makes you that much better in Apex Legends. If you guys did have any questions about today's video, as a reminder, guys, I do stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Twitch. The link will be down in the description below. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. That really does help me out a lot, guys. We've been paving through. We just hit over 500 subscribers. We're on our journey to 1,000. So please like, comment, share, help me out. Let me know down in the comments which throwable you like to use or which one's your favorite which one you like to use over others and if you're new here hit that subscribe button guys turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on future apex guide videos and as for me warlog as always guys stay gaming i'll catch you in the next one peace